Greetings, Exile. As the new league approaches and melee and bleed skills are finally getting some love, I present to you three bleed builds you can league start with. Before we begin, I'd like to inform you that all these builds were played and tested in SSF and no graveyard crafting was used, so they are definitely league start viable. Spectral Shield Throw is a projectile skill that throws a spectral copy of your shield. This copy bounces twice if it collides with an enemy, producing up to five shards on impact. These shards deal significantly less damage, but can apply on-hit ailments such as bleed, poison, impale, or ignite. This mechanic, when combined with gratuitous violence from the gladiator, which causes bleeding enemies to explode, provides excellent clear potential. SST damage scaling is based on the base gem and the amount of armor or evasion on your equipped shield. It gains a set amount of flat physical damage per 15 armor or evasion rating on your shield. Thus, the higher the armor on your shield, the more damage you gain. Since this damage is purely flat physical damage, it is an excellent candidate for bleeding. As you use your offhand to deal damage, your main hand weapon acts only as a stat stick. Modifiers like increased damage with bleeding, increased damage over time, physical damage over time multiplier, or damage over time multiplier on your weapon can help scale bleed damage effectively. For leveling, purchase Shield Crush from Nessa after completing the quest, Enemy at the Gate. Use it until you get Spectral Shield Throw in Act 3 after completing the quest, Sever the Right Hand. Look for shields with as high armor or evasion rating as possible. For weapons, seek out those with increased bleeding damage and damage over time multiplier. Some notable uniques to look out for. Jack the Axe, the best unique axe for bleed SST, as it provides 20% more damage with bleeding. Lion Eyes Remorse, a unique shield with a lot of armor. Rislatha's Coil, the best in slot belt for any bleed build that uses Crimson Dance. Bladestorm is a melee attack skill that creates a secondary bladestorm upon use. The behavior of this secondary bladestorm depends on your current stance. In Blood Stance, it produces a stationary bladestorm that deals more damage with bleeding, provides more attack speed, and has a 100% chance to cause bleeding. In Sand Stance, it creates a moving bladestorm that deals much less damage, blinds enemies, and provides increased movement speed while moving through the bladestorm. Bladestorm damage scaling is based on your weapon damage and sources of damage over time multipliers. Unlike most bleed skills, Bladestorm does not have any inherent flat physical damage. This lack of physical damage can be compensated by Master of Metal from the Champion Ascendancy, which provides flat physical damage based on the number of impales on the enemy. Since Bladestorm is a rapidly hitting skill, you can easily achieve 100% uptime of max impales, thereby significantly boosting your damage output. For leveling, start with Cleave after completing the quest enemy at the gate in Act 1. Once you finish the Siren's Cadence quest, switch to Sweep. Continue using Sweep until you unlock Bladestorm by completing Sever the Right Hand quest in Act 3. Focus on finding axes with the highest damage possible to maximize your output. Some notable uniques to look out for. Hemophilia Gloves. Provide bleed explosions, significantly improving clear speed. Watcher's Eye that grants two additional impale hits while using Pride, boosting damage output. Rislatha's Coil. The best in slot belt for bleed blade storm as it makes the most use out of Crimson Dance. Bone Shatter is a strike skill that grants a trauma buff upon hitting an enemy and creates a shockwave when stunning an enemy. The area of effect of this shockwave depends on the stun duration. Each trauma stack provides more damage while also causing stacking physical damage to yourself. To mitigate this self-damage, the Slayer Ascendancy is beneficial. Brutal Fervor provides overleech, while Masterful Form increases your maximum endurance charges. Bone Shatter scales its damage primarily through weapon damage, attack speed, and trauma stacks. It is one of the strongest skills for bleed builds due to its high attack damage, significant flat physical damage, and the ability to gain more damage per trauma stack. Since trauma stacks have no limit, the potential for bleed scaling is endless. For leveling, start with Double Strike until you complete the quest Breaking Some Eggs in Act 1. After that, 
Switch to Puncture until you acquire Bone Shatter in Act 3. Focus on two-handed axes that have high damage, a chance to bleed, and increased attack speed to maximize your effectiveness. Some notable uniques to look out for. Carnage Heart. This amulet provides a lot of attributes, resistances, and increased damage while leeching. Writhing Jar. A unique flask that produces small worms when used, helping to sustain leech when no targets are nearby. At Ceres Disfavor. This axe offers the highest physical damage scaling among unique axes. This was my first attempt at making a League Start Guide, so I would appreciate any feedback on what you would like me to improve, add, or change in the future. You can find the POB links for all three builds in the description. If you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing or even joining our Discord server, where you can get the latest updates on what's coming next. As always, thanks for watching.